Jacob and Allison, I'd just like to begin by thanking you for the gift of being able to officiate at your wedding. You're two incredibly fine individuals. Come what can you possibly say to do justice to these two incredibly fine individuals? I know I said it before, but I could say it 20 times because they are two incredibly fine individuals. To know them is to be impressed with them. To know them is to know people who would really reach out and make you feel valued, important, special. I have no doubt, 50 years from now, people will look at you and say, there is a picture of full and complete love. Thank you, and uh, in case you don't know me, my name is Peter Matt, and I have the distinct honor and privilege to be the father of the bride. On behalf of my wife, Kathy, and Jake's parents, uh, Jane and Bob Martin, I'd like to welcome all of you here tonight, and thank you so much for being here to help celebrate this new adventure that Jake and Allison are partaking today as husband and wife. We're, we're very thrilled and, and honored that you are all here, and I'm, I know Jake and Allison appreciate it very much for all the love and support that you've shown over the years and certainly today as they begin their new journey as husband and wife. I do have a gift that I want to give you and I want you to open it. Um, but there's a story behind it. We, we found this a couple of weeks ago when we were cleaning out the basement. We found this, this, this is a sweatshirt she wore as a little girl. It's a bright red sweatshirt. It says Matt's Half Pint on it. And the story behind this is, I don't know if you remember, back in the late 80s, um, mid to late 80s, the Allentown would have what they call Super Sunday. And it's a, it was a block party and they'd, cut, they'd block off the streets and thousands of people would show up to this thing. And we got down there and the place was absolutely a madhouse. Mob, people everywhere. So I was holding Allison's hand and we were walking along and we found a booth that was giving away balloons. And she wanted a balloon. Being only two or three years old, she wanted a balloon. And I said, I will get you a balloon. Well, the guy trying to hand out the balloons was having trouble. The strings were getting tangled up and stuff. So I let go of Allison's hand. I reached up to get the balloon. And when I reached back down to give her the balloon, gone vanished the girl was absolutely nowhere to be found well it was panic i mean we were all over the place we were looking all over we saw a police officer standing at a corner we said we've lost our i've lost my daughter and he said well what was she wearing and he, i said she was wearing a bright red sweatshirt that said matt's half pint on it well about 10 minutes later we got the call they had found alice and she was actually standing in a french fry line waiting for french fries she was having trouble breaking a 50. At the, she, they wouldn't give her change. So anyway, uh, this big burly cop comes walking down the street and he's got Allison in her arms. The irony of this whole thing is that some 30 years later, another police officer has come along and swept her off her feet. And she seems... She's... I, I can tell you... I can tell you she's much more happy this time around. She's much happier, much happier. Can you give me a tonight, tonight? Don't know Hello everybody. I'm Josh, Jacob's brother, the best man. First, I would like to say thank you to everybody who attended here today. Um, especially the Matt family, Kathy, Pete. We really appreciate it. Um, you guys did a lot for us here. We couldn't have done this without you. Allie, you look beautiful today. Thank you for being loving, caring, and the best friend of my brother. I lived with him for years. I know it's not an easy task. My arms, my 
Uh, I can't wait to watch you guys grow, start a family, and uh, start your lives together. And I wish you luck, and all of us here do. Love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. I, Jacob, take you, Allison, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I, Allison, take you, Jacob, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health, I will love you, Allison, all the days of my life. In sickness and in health, I will love you, Jacob, all the days of my life. After 35 years of marriage, I'd like to offer you four pieces of advice that I've learned after 35 years of marriage. The first is to love each other unconditionally. The second one is to communicate with each other openly and honestly. The third is to be best friends forever. And the last one is, just like the fairy tale says, live happily ever after. And congratulations and good luck. Jacob and Allison. They are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, let no one separate what God is doing.